Hey guys, welcome back to Fixing It, and today we're going to change the oil on this 2005 Toyota Camry. Alright guys, this is everything you're going to need. You're going to need a jack, a couple of jack stands, or if you have ramps, you can use ramps. You need uh, something to catch the oil. You're going to need some oil, oil filter, oil filter wrench, or a big channel lock, you can use that too. Or if you're really strong, you can do it by hand. Uh, a funnel and some paper towels or rags to clean up the mess so that's it so let's get to it okay the car is up on ramps I forgot to tell you get yourself some cardboard to lay on and also to catch any oil that spills on the ground and uh, get yourself a 14 millimeter wrench to take off the plug off the oil pan okay so the first thing you're gonna do is get under here and once you get under here it's the first thing you'll see as you go down the front here is your exhaust right next to that this is your oil pan and you need to take off this plug right here so let's do that all right guys this is why you need something to clean yourself with okay all right we're gonna let that finish draining and now we're gonna get the filter prepared, okay? So, what you need to do with the filter. And all you guys that are gonna comment and say, Fran filters suck. Listen, this is a freaking Camry. It's not a race car. So what you're gonna do is take some oil and put some oil on this rubber gasket, okay? All right, this is done draining, so we're just gonna put the plug back on. Now we're gonna take off the filter. All right, guys, this is a V6, and the filter on this car is right underneath the manifold here, right there, okay? So you're gonna need, in addition to the wrench, you're gonna need an extension for this. Uh, there's no way you're gonna be able to get uh, one of these. Sometimes I use these when I have access, but uh, there's no, there's not that much room in here, so. All right, so let's get to it. Once you get it loose, you can get it off by hand. Make sure you have your pan underneath, catching everything. Okay, now it's a good time to clean everything that's spilled. Uh, make sure the gasket from the old filter is not stuck to this housing and clean everything up before you put the new filter on, okay? And when you put on this new filter, you're just gonna tighten it by hand, okay? You don't need to use the wrench. So, put it on as tight as you can by hand. This is the oil I'm using, I'm using full synthetic only because I like to go longer between oil changes but you could use regular oil just make sure you change the oil more often okay all right take this cap off and we're gonna put in about four and a half quarts to five quarts just, just go slow and make sure it doesn't hit the bottom of this there's like a shield there that holds it in place Okay, I put about four and a half quarts. I'm gonna put this cap back on. Before you put the cap back on, make sure you clean it up and make sure you clean this up. So I'm just gonna put this on. I'm gonna start the car and then we're gonna check the oil level and see how it is, okay? Okay, drive the car off the ramps and then shut it off and we're gonna check the levels, okay? So take it out, clean it and put it back in. And now we're gonna check it, okay? So this is See these two marks it should be by the upper mark over here we're still all the way down here okay so we got to keep adding until we get to this part now make sure you don't overfill it okay so it's, it's okay if it's between these two marks okay all right the last thing you got to do is write down the mileage someplace so you know when to change the oil again and that's it i hope this video helped you out like and subscribe talk to you guys later take care